From accomplishments in astrophysics and astronomy to furthering human exploration, 2022 was filled to the brim with technological accomplishments that will push us further than we've ever gone before. In this video, we're going to go over the top 10 space achievements from the year 2022. So let's talk about that. At number 10, we have KPLO, which stands for the Korean Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter. Now from the name, this is actually South Korea's first orbiter around the moon, and it was launched on top of SpaceX's Falcon 9 back in August. It took several months to actually reach its orbit around the moon, but once it got there, it was able to begin experimenting or monitoring the surface of the moon with the six experiments that are on board. And so far, we've already gotten some remarkable images back from KPLO. At number 9, we have Boeing's OFT-2, standing for the second orbital flight test of Boeing's Starliner vehicle. Now, they did have some challenges back in 2019 with their first orbital flight test, but in May of 2022, they were able to launch again and actually dock with the International Space Station and return back to Earth safely. Now, Boeing is currently planning to try and launch their crewed flight test sometime in 2023. So that was a pretty big accomplishment for the company. At number eight, we have SpaceX's Boca Chica site or the development of Starship. Now, it's hard to say that there hasn't been a lot of technical developments because they've made incredible progress. However, at the beginning of 2022, many people speculated that the orbital flight test of Starship would have happened last year. However, the current timeline is now for February or March of 2023. But last year was posed with many challenges with some of the FAA regulations as well as an accidental explosion. However, they still had incredible stacking events where we see these amazing images as well as some test fires that proved to be successful as well as posed some additional technical challenges. At number seven, we have Capstone. Now the Capstone mission is a NASA mission that was contracted out of a company called Advanced Space. And this mission is sending a satellite to a near rectilinear halo orbit or an NRHO, which is the proposed orbit for NASA's gateway outpost. On the way out to the moon, Capstone did face a few anomalies, one of which being a loss of contact and the other one being an open thruster valve, which caused it to spin uncontrollably. But before it got to the moon, the team was able to fix the spacecraft and get it to safely arrive into its intended orbit. Now, one of the reasons why this is on a list of technological achievements is because of the size and scale of this mission. Capstone is about the size of a microwave. It's incredibly small and it was launched on Rocket Lab's Electron vehicle, which is a small satellite launch vehicle. So it's pretty incredible that something on a small satellite rocket is able to get to an orbit around the moon. And it was able to overcome all of these technological challenges that it faced on its voyage there. At number six, we have SpaceX's crewed launches. In 2022 alone, SpaceX sent 12 people to the International Space Station. Now, eight of those people were NASA launches coming from Crew 4 and Crew 5, but one of them was a crew of four private astronauts from the Axiom 1 mission. Now, part of the reason why this is included on the list is because of the future of space stations in low Earth orbit. Axiom is a company that plans to build a private space station in orbit around the Earth after the International Space Station is later decommissioned. So this will be in the 2030s. However, it's fascinating because we can already see some of the developments occurring with the Axiom 1 mission, preparing for a future where there's space tourists going to space stations. At number five, we have China completing the Tiangong Space Station. Now, China launched the last two of the three main segments in 2022. And it's expected that this space station will last for at least another decade. However, they've mentioned that they might add more segments in the future, so we'll just have to see what goes along with that. But another reason why this got a lot of publicity is not necessarily because of the space station, but because of what sent it up there. One of the main rocket bodies that would launch these segments would re-enter Earth's atmosphere uncontrollably. So when this happened twice last year, it got a lot of publicity into where this rocket may land over Earth. 
Now, this is something that hopefully in the future they do not continue to do, as if it's uncontrolled entry, it could land anywhere on the flight path. At number four, we have SpaceX's launch cadence. Now, this is a little weird, saying that the ability to launch a bunch of times is a technological achievement, but in reality, it is. The ability to recover, reuse, and launch a vehicle time and time again throughout 2022 is pretty important, especially if we want to launch more things into space. In 2022 alone, SpaceX launched 61 Falcon missions. Now, to put it into perspective, in 2021, they only launched 31. So in, throughout 2022, they averaged more than one launch per week, which is pretty impressive. Now, out of those missions, 34 of them were Starlink missions, whereas 27 of them were commercial or government missions. So I'm curious to hear what you think. How many orbital rocket launches do you think SpaceX will accomplish in 2023? I'm going to say around 78, but I want to hear what you have to say in the comments below. Now we've gotten to the top three events of 2022, starting with number three, being the DART mission. Now DART is a mission out of NASA, and from the very beginning to its unfortunate end, its goal was to run into an asteroid, just full on collide into an asteroid. It actually hit the asteroid Dimorphos at 14,700 miles per hour. So it really did run into an asteroid. They, they were successful. Um, but why did they want to run into an asteroid? Well, the idea is to be a kinetic impactor, a concept where if NASA or anyone was able to detect an asteroid that could potentially impact Earth, the idea would be we could send a mission to run into it to slightly change its orbit. Therefore, it would miss Earth in the years to come. So did it actually work? And the answer is yes. NASA was able to change the orbit of the moon Dimorphos around its larger asteroid. However, this is a rather small asteroid to move, so there's still a lot more that would need to be done, but luckily there aren't any dangerous asteroids that we know of out there right now. Number two on the list, we have the Artemis One mission. Now, it's been quite a while. People have been patiently waiting for Artemis 1, and some people not so patiently waiting. But it truly has been over 10 years, and some would even argue 20 for the Orion spacecraft. But what happened? Well, Artemis 1 was where the Space Launch System, or SLS, launched the Orion capsule into a near month-long journey out to the moon and back. Now the Orion capsule is a crew capsule with people that are supposed to be on board, but Artemis 1 was a test flight, basically checking all the bells and whistles of the rocket and the crew capsule to make sure that everything was working as expected to prepare for Artemis 2, because Artemis 2 will have astronauts on board. So this is marking the beginning of the Artemis era, future missions of sending astronauts back to the moon to stay. At number one on the list, we have images coming back from the James Webb Space Telescope. Now pause for just a second. I know that it launched in 2021, but the major achievement was getting some of this data back and actually unfolding in space. Because although the launch was a key challenge, it did take months of unfolding the origami shape and getting to its orbit to actually become operational. So that's one of the reasons why I have it in technological achievements of 2022. But anyway, keep going. After months of calibrating the vehicle and getting some data to actually showcase, NASA released these stunning pictures. The detail and depth of each image is truly remarkable, holding secrets to the history of our universe. From looking at a nebula to peering into the atmosphere of exoplanets, the James Webb Space Telescope will be the key pioneer for the fields of astrophysics and astronomy for decades to come. So that is it. That is my list of the top 10 space accomplishments in 2022. But I'm curious, how would you have changed this list? Would you have reordered them, potentially replace one of these events with another one? I actually had a few more honorable mention ideas, including the Juno spacecraft and its flyby of Jupiter's moon Europa, or potentially the Ingenuity helicopter on Mars and its fly over of Perseverance's aeroshell. There truly was a lot of things that happened last year. So I'm curious to hear what you think. 
And if you had any questions about the topics that I brought up, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to take a look into those. But with all that being said, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.